Hi there guys, welcome to Such As Life, a channel dedicated to exploring the mysteries and complexities of life and philosophy revolving around it. On this channel, we will delve into a variety of topics related to life and how we live it, including personal growth, relationships, and the search for meaning and purpose. Whether you are a seasoned philosopher or just starting to think about the big questions in life, we hope you will join us on this journey of discovery and self-exploration. So sit back, relax, and let's dive into the mysteries of life together. Imagine a life where you could fully embrace your imperfections and stop striving for an unattainable state of perfection. A life where you prioritize what truly matters to you, rather than trying to please everyone around you. Is this possible? Can we really let go of the things that don't matter and focus on what does? According to Mark Manson's book The Subtle Art of Not Giving a Fuck, the answer is yes. Manson challenges us to rethink our priorities and take ownership of our lives, rather than blaming others or external circumstances. He argues that by focusing on what truly matters to us and accepting our imperfections, we can become happier and more fulfilled. So we asked AI to look into this in more detail for this episode, and summarize its insight. The Subtle Art of Not Giving a Fuck is a book written by Mark Manson, a self-help author, blogger, and entrepreneur. Manson was born in Texas in 1984 and grew up in Austin. He graduated from Boston University with a degree in international relations in 2007 and began working as a dating coach and later as a blogger. Manson started his blog in 2007, which covers topics ranging from personal development to relationships and dating. His blog gained a large following, which eventually led to the publication of his first book, Models, Attract Women Through Honesty, in 2011. Manson's second book, The Subtle Art of Not Giving a Fuck, was published in 2016 and quickly became a bestseller. The book has since been translated into over 50 languages and has sold millions of copies worldwide. In the book, Manson draws on his own personal experiences as well as insights from philosophy, psychology, and popular culture to offer a counterintuitive approach to self-help. The book's blunt and irreverent tone, as well as its use of profanity in the title, garnered attention and controversy, but also helped to make it stand out in the crowded self-help genre. The central premise of the subtle art of not giving a fuck is that in order to live a fulfilling life, we need to stop trying to be perfect and to prioritize what truly matters to us. According to Manson, many of us waste our time and energy trying to please everyone around us, seeking validation and approval from others, and striving for an unattainable state of perfection. Manson argues that this approach to life is misguided and ultimately leads to dissatisfaction and unhappiness. Instead, he encourages readers to embrace their imperfections and to focus on what truly matters to them rather than what society or others tell them should matter. From a philosophical perspective, Manson's argument can be seen as a call to embrace a more individualistic and existentialist approach to life. The philosopher Jean-Paul Sartre famously argued that we are all fundamentally free and responsible for our own choices and actions, and that the key to a fulfilling life is to embrace this freedom and take responsibility for our own existence. Similarly, Manson's argument that we should prioritize what truly matters to us, rather than seeking validation and approval from others, can be seen as a rejection of the idea that we should conform to society's expectations and norms. The philosopher Friedrich Nietzsche famously called for individuals to reject herd mentality and embrace their own individual will to power, arguing that true greatness can only be achieved through self-mastery and the cultivation of one's own unique talents and abilities. At the same time, Manson's emphasis on embracing imperfection can be seen as a rejection of the notion that we should strive for an unattainable state of perfection. The philosopher Aristotle argued that the key to a happy life is to cultivate virtues and live in accordance with reason and moderation, rather than seeking excess or perfection. Similarly, the Stoics taught the importance of accepting our limitations and focusing on what is within our control, rather than trying to control things outside of our power. In order to do this, Manson suggests that we need to adopt a subtle art of not giving a fuck, which involves being selective about the things that we care about and letting go of the things that don't matter. Manson believes that by focusing on what truly matters to us and accepting our limitations and imperfections, we can become happier and more fulfilled. From this perspective, Manson's call is seen as a call to adopt a subtle art of not giving a fuck similar to an exercise in Stoicism. The Stoics believe that true happiness comes from living in accordance with reason and nature, and that the key to achieving this is to focus on what is within our control and to accept what is outside of our control. Manson's suggestion that we should be selective about the things that we care about and let go of the things that don't matter is consistent with the Stoic idea of cultivating a sense of detachment or indifference to external things. This does not mean that we should be apathetic or uncaring, but rather that we should prioritize what truly matters to us and accept that there are things that are outside of our control. 
Also Manson's emphasis on accepting our limitations and imperfections is similar to the Stoics' belief that we should focus on cultivating virtues and developing our own character, rather than trying to control external circumstances or seeking perfection. By accepting our limitations and imperfections, we can focus on what we can control and strive to live in accordance with reason and nature. To put this into practice, Manson suggests that we need to take responsibility for our own lives and choices, rather than blaming others or external circumstances. He encourages us to be honest with ourselves about what we truly want, and to be willing to make tough choices and sacrifices in order to achieve our goals. The philosopher Jean-Paul Sartre once famously argued that we are all fundamentally free and responsible for our own choices and actions, and that the key to a fulfilling life is to embrace this freedom and take responsibility for our own existence. Taking parallels from this, Manson's encouragement to be honest with ourselves about what we truly want can be seen as a call to authenticity, which is a central concept in existentialist philosophy. The philosopher Martin Heidegger also argued that we must be true to ourselves and our own nature, rather than conforming to external expectations or societal norms. Furthermore, Manson's suggestion that we may need to make tough choices and sacrifices in order to achieve our goals is consistent with the existentialist idea that life is characterized by a fundamental tension between our desire for freedom and our recognition of our own limitations and mortality. The philosopher Friedrich Nietzsche famously argued that true greatness can only be achieved through self-mastery and the cultivation of one's own unique talents and abilities, which often involves making difficult choices and sacrifices. So folks, what have we learned from this? Manson's central premise is that we should be selective about the things that we care about and let go of the things that don't matter. He encourages us to embrace our imperfections, focus on what truly matters to us, and take responsibility for our own lives and choices. As the great philosopher Jean-Paul Sartre once said, we are our choices. This sentiment is at the heart of Mark Manson's The Subtle Art of Not Giving a Fuck, which encourages us to take responsibility for our own lives and choices, rather than blaming external circumstances or seeking validation from others. As Manson writes, we need to start caring about the right things, the things that matter to us, and not give a fuck about the things that don't. This approach to life echoes the words of the Stoic philosopher Epictetus, who urged us to make the best use of what is in our power and take the rest as it happens. To put Manson's philosophy into practice, we must be honest with ourselves about what truly matters to us and be willing to make tough choices and sacrifices in order to achieve our goals. This is consistent with the words of the great American author and philosopher Henry David Thoreau, who wrote, go confidently in the direction of your dreams. Live the life you have imagined. Ultimately, Manson's message is a moral one that calls us to prioritize what truly matters in life, embrace our imperfections, and take responsibility for our own existence. In the words of the great Stoic philosopher Seneca, it is not that we have a short time to live, but that we waste a lot of it. Let us not waste our time and energy on things that don't matter, but rather focus on what truly matters to us and live a more fulfilling and authentic life. So let us embrace the subtle art of not giving a fuck, not as a license to be selfish or uncaring, but rather as a means of living a more fulfilling and authentic life. Let us focus on what truly matters to us, accept our limitations and imperfections, and take responsibility for our own existence. In doing so, we can become happier, more fulfilled, and more virtuous individuals. So there you go folks, thanks for joining us on Such As Life channel for this brief thought experiment. We hope that you have enjoyed exploring the mysteries and complexities of life and philosophy with us. Remember, life is a journey of self-discovery and personal growth, and there is always more to learn and discover. We encourage you to continue thinking deeply about the big questions in life and to seek out new experiences and perspectives that can help you to grow and evolve. We look forward to sharing more insights and ideas with you on future episodes of Such As Life. If you like the content we would love to hear your comments below and remember to have a healthy discussion so we all can benefit together. We would appreciate it if you could share, like and subscribe and turn on the notification bell to be updated with our upcoming thought-provoking discussions on this channel. One small gesture from you, means the world to us as we try to navigate our own YouTube life. Until next time guys, take care and keep exploring the mysteries of life.